So let's talk about how we define others. That will help us in establishing our foundation. See, others in this case can be defined as anyone you come in contact with while on the job. Obviously, the answer is going to be different for everyone. However, it can include your boss, your coworkers, the customers or clients you interact with, any vendors you utilize, the HR team, all of the maintenance or cleaning staff, any outside workers, anyone that you come in contact with at work. Now, one of the main reasons it's so important to treat everyone equally is that you never know what a person might be able to do to help you or to do for you in the future. And right up there with this is the common sense to just treat everyone with dignity and respect. Now, of course, that means never taking advantage of that particular person's assistance mm -hmm. or eagerness to help under any circumstances. Let me give you a quick personal story. I live in the Western United States. This, it, it has the reputation for being a little more laid back and people generally have a little softer personality than say someone from New York City. Now I know that's generalizing, but for this story, it'll make sense. Now my friend and neighbor moved here several years ago now from Manhattan in New York City, where he was born, grew up, and attended school and university. He took a job with an international organization with locations all over the world, but it's headquartered here in the West. Over the next several months, he was summoned to human resources almost weekly to the point where he was beginning to think they were going to fire him. Finally, HR was able to get him to understand that he needed, in his own words, to be nice to people every day. See, his abrupt, seemingly callous behavior was coming across to everyone he interacted with as just plain mean. Now, a more selfish reason for being nice to everyone? Well, are you familiar with the expression, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Now, think of it like this. Someone you don't interact with on a daily basis, but still consider a friendly acquaintance, could share a tip with you regarding a friend who happens to be hiring for a position you'd love to have. Without that tip, you wouldn't be aware of the opportunity. Now, this scenario happens much more than you probably think. That's just another reason to be considerate and be kind to everyone. Now, another possibility is just plain making a friend you wouldn't otherwise have. See, diversity in the workplace is more common than ever before. This gives individuals a much better chance of becoming friends with someone who isn't part of their everyday life. It might be someone who works in a different department or the person who maintains the office grounds. When it comes to meeting and making a new friend, the possibilities, well, they're just almost endless. <laughs>